My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. 2 Corinthians 12, 9 See, we don't have to be ashamed of our weaknesses. God already knows them. And He's the only one that matters. Amen. So, God takes delight in a humble person, a humble heart that goes to Him and asks for help rather than hiding in fear because he already knows he made us he knows what we're made of because he made us and he knows our areas of strength and weaknesses so right now you know as you guys know i'm going through a very difficult painful season in my life and um a lot of people do not realize this because they don't see me fall apart they don't see me you know um crying in my room uh, a few times a week um, depending on how intense the pain of that week is and they don't see that because they see me filled with joy and uh, filled with the words of encouragement I have to have the word of God I have to have a prayer life I have to lean upon the Lord. I have to call upon His name so that His strength is made perfect in me, in my weaknesses. And I have so many weaknesses, so that means I'm always needing Him. I always need His strength. I always need to live in a state of uh, prayers, worship, praise, reading the Word of God, and sharing it. Hoping, believing, that the very word of God that sustains me and strengthens me, that gives me hope, that builds my faith, will also do the same for those who listens and those who are suffering and those that are going through trials and um, temptations and pain right now in this season also. After you have suffered for a little while, the God of all grace who called you to his eternal glory in Christ will himself perfect, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. 1 Peter 5.10 See, we suffer for a little while, and then our God of all grace, who called you and called me to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself perfect, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. Isn't that awesome? I mean, that's great news right there. Now, why would you not want to hear that? I need to hear it. And it builds me up stronger so that I can endure and persevere. Take a new grip with your tired hands and strengthen your weak knees. Mark out a straight path for your feet so that those who are weak and lame will not fall but become strong. Hebrews 12, 12 to 13. As others are going through their trials, temptations, persecution, whatever it is, loss, grief, mourning, um... And they watch us, our lives testify that there is a God and that if we can go through our suffering, pain, and trials singing, you know, and doing good and accomplishing what we're uh, called to accomplish, whether it's in our home, cooking, cleaning, um, serving our clients, um, you know, doing good deeds for the saints or for whoever needs help or neighbors, um, then people will see and it will give them hope and strength that they too can come out of their caves of you know complacency, depression, caves of hopelessness and despair because they're seeing you do it and they want to know how you're doing it and they want to they want what you have, which is the Holy Spirit. That's the only reason why we can stand because of the Holy Spirit. Christ, our solid rock. Amen. All right. Sometimes, Lord, I question your call on my life. I deeply desire to follow you and do great things in your name, but I don't trust my own humanity. Thank you for the numerous examples in the Bible of times you chose to use weak men and women to carry out your mission. Thank you for the times in my life when you've used me in spite of my shortcomings. 
may they serve as a reminder that true strength is only found in you, Christ the solid rock, our refuge. Thank you for having grace with my inabilities and granting me the ability to proceed with what you have called me to do. Do you believe that God can make you able to do what he asked? I do, but he would have to do it through me and in me, amen, by his mighty power, his spirit, because Kina can't do it. Kina is desperate for him. This is why I pray that God would pour his spirit afresh and anew every day, that he would breathe his spirit, his fire, his passion, his love, his mercy, his compassion upon me so that I could be a vessel poured out for him because of who he is, because of his Holy Spirit. Well, have a blessed day. I hope this would bless you. Lean upon the Lord. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Amen. I love you guys. Bye.